and welcome back, everyone. I uh, I took some time to travel to our destination, and thankfully, I am getting closer. So you don't have to uh, sit through like an entire two thirds, three quarters of an episode of just watching me try to get to this place. <laughs> Of course, I still have to try to get to it, but we are much closer than we were before. Much closer. Am I even going the right way? Yes, I am going the right way. I, uh... I lost my net. I, I lost my mount again. Because the mount system is janky as all get out. But we are close. We are really close. Hopefully there's not another lord up. Although it is nice to uh, I can get out of this. finally slowly discover what happened to uh, humanity. <laughs> Approaching the grave, where hopefully there will be more answers to uh, our questions rather than more questions instead of answers. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Let me override you. And now your booty's mine. Just go by your business. Protect me, almighty Glitork. Wow. Tanks and such? That's interesting. I'm not showing any focuses at that location. Shouldn't be anything you can't handle on your own. Carry on. Thanks. The hell are you doing out here? Do they just have merchants sitting around? Oh my goodness. You will not escape the sh- Okay, I need to improve my aim. But none- Wow. That is absolutely terrifying. I guess we go down this way. Ouch. They're inside too. Frozen in ice in time. Well, I guess you could say Operation Enduring Victory wasn't a success. <laughs> Looks like quite an enduring victory we put our foot in today. 
Contact in 30 seconds. Hey, think that's enough time for Sobek to finish Zero Dawn? <laughs> if this is really it, I gotta say, it's been an honor to serve beside these tanks. <laughs> Here it comes. Grease for contact! Are you getting this, Silence? Silence? That doesn't sound good at all. Titan inbound, same play as Akron. Base defense locks it down. We engage, sever the limbs, blast out the pounders. Another day in the life. Rocket time, we close. Engine will be on point. Hurrah! Silence, you getting this? Operation Enduring Victory. What did that mean? Whatever it was, doesn't seem to have turned out very well. You lot seriously did not see me come in here? That does it. Time to take a look around the room. <laughs> Were they there the entire time? Am I blind? <laughs> oh my god. I, I can't. I, I refuse to believe that they were there the entire time. As I killed their corrupted watcher and just slunk around the room listening to hollow tapes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, I don't like this ride. Whew. Still alive. Must have been where the soldiers slept. Like the lodge in Mother's heart, I guess. Log. Third Battle of California Marine. The swarm came in from the Pacific, and... I don't know if it was the local Minutemen or the Crazy 15th, but... They'd set the garbage patch alight. Man, the sea was on fire. That stuff was... The first wave of bots came in covered in burning sludge. They bought us an hour or two of slaughtering them on the beaches before the swarm recalculated. We pulled them inland, back to the Kalmar sprawl. Dropped buildings on them, EMP'd the grid. Standard operating procedure. <laughs> the last time I was in California... I was five, six. The light was like that vintage social net filter that was everywhere in the 40s. Log. First battle of the Eastern Seaboard Wall. Had a long run up to it. This was before Kalmar, and projections were a lot worse for the East. For three weeks, we kept getting scrambled out to some coastal burg to train Minutemen. It was always raining on account of Europe already being torched. Block after block of prefab barracks. They were still printing barracks right up until the hour the main force hit. The Minutemen? 
We ran combat drills with them in the streets where they'd lived, trying to pretend they might live to die somewhere else if they paid attention. Nothing worse than the ones who actually bought into it. Hopeful, pestering us with questions about Zero Dawn, like we know something they don't. I swear, the more we do this, the more like the bots we are. Except they learn from every fight. And us? I'm not so sure. Well, that's the way the battle, the war goes. <laughs> you're not gonna, you're not gonna win against my shades. What was this place? <coughs> Recalls, I've been instructed to remind you of Article 115 of base policy regarding unauthorized use of processor cycles. Specifically, 115C. Any holographic simulation not directly related to operational training or efficiency. Consider yourself reminded and enjoy your gaming. <laughs> Someone took the time to game at the end of the world. That is amazing. <laughs> Hell, that's what I'd be doing. Drinking, uh. Drinking Baron Jaeger and just video gaming. Thanks for the mails, you. Time goes fast on active duty. Four months with the wreck and recalls. I don't know, 20 drops. In and out of the West Coast, fighting with these civilian enlistees, scrappy guys and gals. Their training is basically, here's a DEW, when you see a bot, hit it. <laughs> but somehow it's all coming together. Between us and the 6th MRB, we took down a horse at Lithium Beach. Pulled out before its buddies arrived, but to see a big one go down. I hope you made the news, honey. Showed everyone we're gonna have a shot at turning this around. We just need to give Project Zero Dawn the time it needs, that everything will be the way it used to be. Buddy, I hate to say this, slight spoiler alert. Everything is not going to be the way it used to be. <laughs> I know it's been days, honey. I'm so sorry. Deployments are getting real long and tougher every time. The swarm's getting better at predicting us. Less of us now. And we have to put in ten times the work for everyone gone. Like a family business on hard times, only... This isn't my family. It's not with you. I still try to see you. The life we had. In the eyes of the people out there. I remember when they were glad to see us. When they still had hope. It all seems to be slipping away. I don't even recognize the places we're defending. The only thing I know I'm still fighting for is... You. The Zero Dawn to turn this around? Or whatever the hell that is. <sighs> By Zero Dawn is so not going to turn any of this around. How'd they ever get comfortable? It was the metal world. Guess they were used to it. Looking back, I thought 64 was shaping up to be a pretty good year. No more drinking and no more mercenary sec work. Stripping offshore wind farms for the OEZ. Just me and a plasma cutter, 400 feet above sea level. Then I got the recall alert. Read them up on... Read them up on a turbine in the smell of cooking ozone. They covered every angle. Better pay, amnesty for any... Combine wars you fought in. Guaranteed citizenship. We should have thought, okay, what's the catch? But what we did think was, I guess we're better than the bots after all. Big talk from Harris about pride and duty. Smart guy. A was right. I'd been proud to be a US soldier. I jumped at the chance to be one again. And look what I landed in. <laughs> the end of the world.
<coughs> so sorry, Corporal Sarah. Just one bed. Maybe the war chief's room. Uh, Sarai, rather. Last night we got talking about D Day 55. I was a kid then, only a few years after boot camp. General Assembly in a drone hangar, summer and the sky was bare. The heat was killer. They say US human combat forces are being disbanded, all automated now. We're last cycle's tech, out like the old net. A million more on basic, in a century recession. Could be you'll help build the robots that took your jobs. Or if you know how to handle a power suit, you could find a place that still uses manual labour. Maybe in the OEZ, or China, where you're not our problem. Low suicide risk, it said in my discharge file. <laughs> So sorry, Sarai. Those look like things I can turn. A hollow lock. These wires must run to the power source. A holographic interface. There must be some kind of code. Useful information. Okay, I see now. Up, down, left, right. One. Wait, I gotta get three? Oh my god. Consult GT Tech? Is that that? Hey, y'all wanted to know how I remember the Geotherm system reboot? Goes like this. Bird flies north in summer, east in spring, west in fall, and south in winter. Didn't expect to hear nature's poetry from the lips of Mike the GT Tech, now did you? <laughs> As usual, I defy expectations. Okay, I think I get it. Sounds like I did it. I'm probably to where I'm all supposed to go now. <laughs> oh, play hell. That sneezing did not do it for me. <laughs> I feel like I'm ill again. Waha! I did it! And what does this give me? <gasps> Power 
ourselves! Only one more till I can get that armory. Armor. It's them, all right. They're not looking for answers, just weapons. Snap, they are everywhere. Okay, you know what? You be getting the piss me off. a full magazine for anyone who wants some. Bloody hell, that is a tank. <laughs> All praise the tank. Where else can I go? Do I go further down? Oh, I'm gonna have to jump. It's just so devious. I just got the Deathbringer and I had to get rid of it. For shame. What the bloody hell is even up here? Oh, more law. Gotta, gotta listen to all the law. Thanks for the mails, you. Time goes fast on active duty. Four months with the wreck and recalls. Fighting with these civilian enlistees. Scrappy guys and gals. That's all coming together. Between us and the 6th MRB, we took down a horse. I hope you made the news, honey. We showed everyone we're turning this around. We just need to give Project Zero Dawn the time it needs. Wait, so that was the edited and approved one? Oh, oh. They edited their mail. I know it's been days, honey. I'm so sorry. Deployments are getting real long. We have to put into work for everyone. Like a family business. I still see you in the eyes of the people out there. They were glad to see us. They still had hope. I'm still fighting for you. Oh, that is some seriously bad editing. Status report. 9th Mechanized Response Brigade, Commanding Officer Lieutenant Fiona Morrell. Unit Morrell continues to be adversely impacted by outbound engagements against the Pharaoh Plague. Especially when said engagements occur in sectors where civilian guard enlistees have been heavily engaged. The scope and nature of fatalities <coughs> suffered by civilian guard and unarmed civilians in these sectors defy description and witnessing it is generating a pervasive sense of hopelessness in the unit 
Accordingly, I once again request that deployments of the 9th MRB be temporarily refocused on facilities that are mission critical to Project Zero Dawn. And once again, I request an immediate update on the status of Project Zero Dawn's timeline. <laughs> Someone wasn't uh, having patience. <laughs> <laughs> Ames, I know I mail you too much. I'm just proud of what you're doing. Everyone back home is. We got moved inland 10 kilometers, just as a precaution, they say. School's still in session, so I get to keep my eye on Andrus and Reggie. We never know where or when you're fighting, but when the VTOLs go over, all the kids run out and wave. I believe in you. I know nothing's ever going to be the same, but I believe in you. I believe in us. Well, we know that was edited. <laughs> Ames, I don't even know if you're alive anymore. The mails I get from you, they say they're from you, but they don't sound... They sound recycled. Phrases put together, and you don't say anything about the news I pass on. The containment zone, the rebreathers, the rioting, one Earth. What happened in the Dallas bubble, Ames? That wasn't the robots. They won't even give me a straight answer when I demand to know if you're still alive. They just say if your messages keep coming, then you're still operational. It's not fair, Ames. It's not fair that you won't be with me when the lights go out. I love you. That's so sad. Yep, and it's not surprising that they would accept and reject and edit them. <coughs> edit messages down to be nothing but, like, brief reminders of what you're fighting. What's this? Operation Kickback. Reno, Nevada. Civilian Guard and Armor Battalions skirmished with Vanguard elements of Pacific Northwest. Swarm PN-12. Engagement began at 0600 and concluded with a withdrawal at 2100 the following day. Losses in excess of 40% reported. Bloody hell. Operation Thick School, Shenandoah Valley, SA Tech, Virginia, 12th MRB supported by a civilian guard, fought a rear guard action against the Eastern Seaboard Swarm ES-17. Engagement began at 0800, approximately 1400, 12th MRB reported the position was overrun and received authorization to detonate SA Tech facility, inflicting significant damage on ES-17. Surviving elements of 12th MRB withdrawn to Akron Cleveland defense line. Bloody Blow, Akron, Ohio, 9th and 10th MRBs, supported by sustained aerial strikes, assaulted the Horus class Titan, resupplying the Eastern Seaboard Swarm ES 18. Engagement began at 0400 and concluded at 2200 with the elimination of the Titan. Note that this is 9th MRB's third Titan kill with minimal losses. Bloody hell. Wait, is the Titan that giant thing we saw as we entered the mountain? Oh my god, that is absolutely terrifying. If that is a Titan and can create more demons and big demons, ooh. I have a feeling that's what Hades is trying to do. It's trying to rebuild and rebirth a Titan-class machine. 